Welcome to Rejoicing Heart Ministries. We hope everyone is having a great day. This is Robin Donna Litwin here to encourage you with the Word of God. Today we have a teaching about ministers feeding you the Word so you lack nothing. Our reading is from Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 4. And I will set up shepherds over them which shall feed them, and they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed, neither shall they be lacking, saith the Lord. Today's teaching is called Lacking Nothing. This verse was written by Jeremiah speaking the word of God about pastors and ministers feeding the flock of God. Through Jeremiah, God said that he will set up shepherds, which means he will set up pastors and ministers over his people, the flock, to teach them his ways, which are all written in the word of God, the Holy Bible. Jeremiah continued in this verse to say that these people in the flock will not have fear, they will not be dismayed, and they will not be lacking. Today, as a born-again believer, you should never have fear. You know this because the first letter of John chapter 4 verse 18 tells you, There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. You know that this perfect love comes from God because chapter 4 verse 8 from the same letter tells you that God is love. Jeremiah stated that the flock or people would not be dismayed. This word dismayed by definition means to be discouraged, disheartened thoroughly, or to dread. Being dismayed, disheartened, or discouraged comes from fear. The same word dismayed was used by Joshua right after he took over leadership of Israel after Moses died. Joshua was commanded by God in Joshua chapter 1 verse 9. Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid. Neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee whithersoever thou goest. Do you think Joshua had some dreadful thoughts and concerns about taking over leadership after Moses? Consider all the awesome things God did through Moses, and you will understand why Joshua had reason to be dismayed. But God commanded Joshua to be strong, courageous, not afraid, or dismayed. Here, God told Joshua he would be with him wherever he goes. That should have been very comforting to Joshua. For you to know this should give you even greater comfort for your life, since you received the Holy Spirit inside of you when you accepted Jesus. Because God said in Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5, that he would never leave you nor forsake you. Joshua didn't have the Holy Spirit the way you, as a born-again believer, do today, because Jesus hadn't come yet. Now, going back to the last part of our reading, it says that the people will lack nothing. The people will lack nothing because ministers and pastors will be feeding the flock with the Word of God, empowering them to overcome everything that ever comes their way in this world. This should be true today in the church. Pastors and ministers should be teaching the Word of God to the congregation, And through the Word of God, you receive everything you need fulfilling this scripture that you will lack nothing. In John chapter 1 verse 14, it says that Jesus is the Word of God. John chapter 1 verse 14 says, And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Everything you will ever need comes to you through Jesus. Jesus was quoted saying this in John chapter 16 verse 33. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Jesus said you will have tribulation or troubles in this world, but he said be of good cheer, which means to be happy. And he told you why you should be cheerful, because he overcame the world. There is nothing you can ever face in your life that Jesus didn't already know about and provide you the solution and or provision for it. This was written by Isaiah speaking the word of God in Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Isaiah speaking the word of God said, Don't fear, God is with you. And don't be dismayed, because God will strengthen you, help you, and uphold you with the right hand of his righteousness. Here Isaiah was speaking of the right hand which refers to strength and skill, and righteousness, which is Jesus. This is referring to Jesus upholding you, defending you, and or helping you. God gives all this to you as a gift when you receive Jesus. This provision for support, defense, and help is shown in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. Salvation through Jesus is a gift from God. The word saved in this verse, in Greek, is sozo, which is one word to describe everything Jesus provided you through dying on the cross and rising again. This word includes forgiveness, 
eternal life with God, prosperity, healing, deliverance, and more. When you understand this word and what Jesus has provided you by dying on the cross and rising again, you know why Jesus said, be of good cheer. He has overcome the world. Jesus has provided you everything you need today. You just need to go to him for it. The way you go to him is through the word of God because Jesus is the word that became flesh. God gave Joshua instruction about the word in Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Now you know that Jesus is the word, and the word makes you prosperous, and you have good success by meditating on it. Start reading it and meditating on it to see your life transform. In closing, after you start meditating on the word, find a church to attend regularly for you to allow the pastor or minister to feed you the word of God. A good church with a word-based leader will teach you to apply the word of God to make you fearless, courageous, and lacking nothing. Father, thank you for providing us with everything we need. In Jesus' holy name, amen. Thank you for listening to Rejoicing Heart today. If this teaching has blessed you, please consider becoming a monthly partner to help us increase the ways we are proclaiming the Word of God. This is easy to do. Just visit our website at rejoicingheart.net. We thank you for your support. We leave you with more encouragement from the Apostle Paul from Philippians chapter 4, verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice.